Welcome back to another video and this one is going to be on where to find all of the eggs that you can find in hoppers shops. In order to get all of these things you're going to be needing eggs and these are kind of tricky to find if you don't know where you're looking for them. So in this video, I am going to be showing you every single location and what you need to kill to get these items. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Let's jump over to Greenguard Forest. So the first thing you want to kill here is the frog zards. And these guys here have a chance of dropping the green egg. Now, if for some reason you're having a hard time getting the green frogzard egg, then you could head right over here to this challenge book. In this challenge book, you're going to be needing the mamazard egg anyways, so you can kill two birds with one stone by killing these frogzards in here, which have a chance of dropping the green frogzard egg, and the boss has a chance of dropping the mamazard egg. Now the drop rate of the Mamazard egg is pretty low, so it's going to take you several tries until you finally get it. Next, if you head to this little portal thing right here, in here you are going to find the Shadow Zards. And these guys have a chance of dropping the Shadow Zard egg. Heading back out of here, we're going to head over to the Sneed Fort. At the very top of the fort, you're going to find King Sneed. He has a chance of dropping Sneed's Zard's egg. Now jumping over to a Barrow Point. Right over here, you're going to be seeing this little door in the wall, so you want to go to Barrow Drop. You're going to be finding these little guys called Frog Vora, and these are the ones that you want to take down. They have a chance of dropping the Frog Vora egg. Back in Barrow Point, you're going to want to head down to this dungeon right here. In this dungeon, you're looking for a certain area where the Alpha Maroon Frogzard spawns, and this is the map that you're looking for. So you're just going to want to head right over to this location, and you're going to see the big guy right over here. Unfortunately, his drop is not a 100% rate, so you might be running this dungeon for quite a while until you finally get the egg you want. This is also another map where you can find the Alpha Maroon. You'll find them right over here in this cave. Eventually, you will get the egg that you want. Next, we're heading to the Living Stone Alcove. And there's two dungeons in here. And you want to run the Glowing Depths. And the frog zards you're looking for in here is the Cave Frog zards. They have a chance on dropping the Cave Frogzard Egg. Next location is in Darkovia. We're going to jump to Darkhurst. But we're not sticking around here. We want to head over to Darkovia Forest. In Darkovia Forest, you're going to want to head right along this trail. Until you get to this little area there. And you're going to want to run up into this area dungeon right here. The creatures you want to fight is the feral or feral frogzard. They have a chance of dropping the feral frogzard egg. Heading over to Ashfall, we are going to be jumping to the upper fire field. And here you're wanting to kill Chorty. He has a chance of dropping the Chorty egg. And while you're here, you're going to want to take out the firezard as well because they have a chance of dropping the firezard egg. Now Chorty is a random spawn so it's going to take a while until you finally get the egg from him. Chorty also spawns in several other locations. You can see he's right here and he also spawns over here as well. Now we're going to be jumping to the Dragon Slayer camp. Once you get here, you're going to want to run all the way over this direction and up this little hill right here. You'll want to go across the chain right here and you're going to want to go 
over to this little challenge book and enter the Firezilla challenge. I recommend running Warrior in this area because it's a much better class to run in this location as you can drop all of the swarm as well as taking out the Firezilla pretty darn quickly. In this location you can also get the Firezard egg so it's a good idea to farm this location first before you go to the upper fire field to farm the fire zards there because here you're going to be getting it probably a lot quicker since these guys respawn as you can see and the chance of getting the fire zard egg is just as high as it is there so this is probably a better location to farm the fire zard egg unfortunately the fire zilla egg is not a 100 percent drop so it is going to be taking you several tries until you finally get it so good luck. I logged out while I was in the Firezilla thing and I don't even know how I got up here. I logged back in and this is where I was. What's this book right here? Okay. Well, that was different. Finally got the Firezilla egg. The final location is in Mount Ashfall Camp. The quest you want to do here is the Dragon's Lair Story. Once you get to the third map, you'll be coming across the Ember Zards, and if you kill the Ember Zards, you're going to be getting a chance of getting the Ember Zard Egg. Now, this is not drop at 100%, but once you've gotten your Ember Zard Eggs, then you might as well just jump right back to the Mount Ashfall camp because this is the only section that is available that has the Ember Zards that you need. So jump back to the camp and then just repeat this process. Every time you get to the third map, kill the Ember Zards you need and then head back to the camp. That's the quickest way of getting those eggs. To get the Gunter armor, you're going to be needing the simple Green Wog Smasher along with the other eggs that I've already previously mentioned. And to get this Smasher, you are going to be needing to get this Smasher first. You're going to need the Smasher for all of the things as well as the other eggs that I already showed. And to get the ears, you're just going to be needing the regular eggs to get the other ones here like the rage or the chaotic or the pinky or the doom bunny you're going to be needing the cotton tail ears and tail here's an original look i have never seen anything like this before i've seen the skull before but it couples beautifully with that mogomancer armor set he's got the shoulders that you get from the previous battle concert as well as the back bling which is part of the punk set i forget the name of that mage punk punk mage i love the sneakers i think that goes really well with this and of course the scythe and i never see anybody with that mic scythe so i thought this was a really original set and it made it into the set of the day so there we go i hope this video helps you guys out there thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one